Gill, and this is your Internet Insider from OpenMedia.ca. So it's official. Verizon has set the record straight and said that they have no desire to enter our cell phone market. After the big three made a big fuss with a misleading and dishonest PR campaign portraying Verizon as the boogeyman, Verizon Chief Executive Officer Lowell McAdam said that they never really seriously considered moving into Canada. Even McAdam calls the Verizon scare way overblown. Even with Verizon out of the picture, Canadians are still left to pay some of the highest fees in the industrialized world for their cell phone use. With the presence of the strong monopoly by Bell, Telus, and Rogers, it remains that Canada still has a broken cell phone market. It's not just foreign companies that are having a difficult time tapping into our market. We already know that barriers exist for our own Canadian-grown independent startups. Ting, for example, is a Canadian-owned cell phone service that serves the U.S. because it's being blocked out of the Canadian market by the big three. Ting CEO Elliot Noss says, we would love to be in Canada, but nobody will sell us network. The Harper government, and specifically Industry Minister James Moore, have defended choice for Canadians on the surface, but we still need to hold their feet to the fire to establish the appropriate cost-based rules, new policies, and enforcement to stop the big three from blocking independent providers from participating in our cell phone market. We at OpenMedia.ca have created a roadmap to grow affordable and independent cell phone alternatives for Canadians. You can check out our Time for an Upgrade report at OpenMedia.ca slash Upgrade Canada. Sign and share the petition to ask decision makers to take the next step at fixing our broken cell phone market at DemandChoice.ca. It looks like that's all for today, Canada. Thanks for watching. This is Ariel with OpenMedia.ca, signing off.